Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy beginning of the weekend. I wanted to share with you, I've had some questions about what I shared earlier this week about searching for hearts and the importance of it and how to actually do it. And I wanted to get a little bit more in depth with this. This is something that Mel Robbins has shared many, many times. And I just wanted to share with you what it looks like and how it works. And I'm on my walk this morning with Sammy. We are searching for our hearts and there's a pack of dogs behind me. They're barking their heads off. So I may have to stop this in a moment because my dog is leash reactive and come back to you. But anyway, I wanted to share a little bit of the science behind this and why it's important to retrain our mind's eye. And hop up Sam. <laughs> Um, there we go. So we get what we look for. And how many times have we kind of thought something's going to happen and then sometimes that it does? And this is why our brains are extremely powerful. And I wanted to teach you something that is an exercise to show you the power of your mind first and foremost. And also give you the ability to change it. And this is something that I think is really, really powerful. If I find myself in a slump sometimes or find myself focusing a lot on the negatives, this is something that I tend to do to kind of ground myself, recenter myself. And it's really, really effective. So basically what you're doing is you are going out in nature, walking outside or stepping outside somewhere, and you are searching for any kind of heart that is occurring naturally. So I'm not talking about a heart you may see in graffiti or some a heart that somebody's etched into something or a heart painted somewhere. You're simply searching for hearts in nature. And this is kind of twofold. Not only are you looking for what you are setting your mind to, but you're also kind of tuning into your surroundings. You're taking the focus off of yourself. So there's a couple of benefits to doing this exercise, but it is incredibly powerful. And it may sound simple and stupid at first, but I promise you, if you try it, you're going to learn that not only can you train your mind's eye to look for hearts, but you can also train your mind's eye to look for the positivity, to look for the things that you want more of in your life. It's kind of like activating what is called um, the RAS in our mind, the um, reticular activating system. And what that is is basically, you know how if you are, maybe you're looking for a new car and you really like the new Volkswagen. I'm just giving that as an example. And that's something that you want. And then all of a sudden, you see that car everywhere you look on the streets. Has that ever happened to you? It pretty much happens with anything like that. So I encourage you, if this is something that interests you, if you find yourself just kind of in a slump and you're just, you can't seem to just, maybe lots of negative things are happening to you, I encourage you to try this simple exercise do it for a week. Look for one heart a day. Just if you're out on your walk or outside, search for it. Look for it. Tune in to your environment. And once you do that for a week, the next week, maybe you can focus on something else. Maybe you want to focus on, you know, I know I've got a teenage, two teenagers right now. <laughs> so a lot of times I'm, I'm challenged in my relationships with them. So a lot of times what I'll do is instead of focusing on the negative, I might focus on the positives. So just some food for thought. And so I wanted to share that with you because we're out on our walk today. I'm going to post a picture of the heart that we find today. And I want to see how this begins to affect you for the positive. Might you start to begin to see solutions instead of problems? Might you begin to see opportunities instead of mistakes? It is all in how we reframe our mind and how we change our mind's eye. So 
tell me what you thought about this. I would love to hear your thoughts. And if you want to find, or if you find hearts in your particular area, post them down below. I would love to see what you find. And we have to go because those dogs are coming. So <laughs> we're going to go on our walk. And y'all have a fantastic Friday. Take care.